Hi there. Uh, this video is going to be a walkthrough of the X-Terrain Toolkit. Uh, so this is intended for people who are you know, new to the toolkit, maybe they've just received it, or they're considering which toolkit they want to buy. Um, if you've already got your toolkit and using it for some time, it's unlikely you're going to find anything new that you didn't already know. Um, so the toolkit uh, consists of several sheets, and you'll have seen this on the workshop. I explained them. There's six sheets. Um, so the, the basic toolkit comes with the first three sheets, sheets one to three. Um, and there's a number on each of these sheets to tell you which one it is. Um, just look at the first digit on there. So this is one, two, six, two, but it starts at number one. So that's sheet one, sheet two, and sheet three. So we'll start with sheet one. So you, as I say, these are the three sheets you get for the basic toolkit. Sheet one, and I've laid out the tools right here. So sheet one, um, you get a pair of hex templates, and your toolkit will also come with a couple of uh, bolts and wing nuts. So that's used for making basic um, flat hexes. Um, you're also going to get some edge pieces. So this is for making um, house shape semi hexes, and this pair is for making bunker shaped semi hex pieces. This is for the edges we bought. You get six of these um, T bar pins, um, and those are going to be used for holding our toolkit together. And you get two of these um, low slopes. So on its own, you can't do that much with this one. But it doesn't come on its own, it's going to come with sheet two. So this is sheet two. Um, and I have that laid out here as well. So sheet two, um, to, to go along with those two low sides we have, had there, We've got some low sides with a flat top, so there's four of those. And you have these two pieces here, um, and this is sort of the core of the toolkit really, and I'll show you in a moment how those fit together. Um, and then you've got these, which is the um, depth guide. So the depth guide... Um, Slots together something like this. Uh, you may want to glue it together if you're happy for it to stay, or if it was at all loose. Um, but that's used for cutting um, hexes down to the depth you want them to be at. Um, so 15 mil this height, seven and a half mil this height. Um, I have a separate. I have a video which I'll in the description um, showing how you should, for using 7.5 mm height, cut yourself a, a sheet here and then in the future lay an X on top of this to cut other 7.5 mm lines. But as I say, there's a separate video which explains that in detail, so I'll link that in the description. Right, the main toolkit. Um, so if you're going to make a simple hex, um, what you'll do is you're going to need two of these pieces. At this point, the shape in the middle is, is not very really important. Just that there's a hole there you can stick your hand through. Um, so I shall assemble this toolkit as follows. So you're passing through um, two of the tabs, put through your T bar pin, put on a sloping side. T-bar pin again, that will hold it firmly in position. And how many, or rather, which positions you put the flat sides and which position you put the slope sides depends on what kind of hexagon you want to cut. So in this configuration I'm about to do here, we're going to have um, three low sides. and one high side. 
So those are the three low sides. My tabs in, tab in. And here's my high side. There we go. Um, and as you can see, there are other slots, so I could have set this up in any configuration I wanted, really. Um, and this is to produce what we call a G2 hex, so a grass slope with two high points. So we really call it by the points rather than the sides, two high points. That's simple. And the advantage of having this hole here is that when you finish cutting it out, you can poke your finger through and uh, eject the polystyrene hex. And that was during the Kickstarter, somebody suggested I did that. I don't know why it didn't occur to me beforehand, but thank you. That one. Right. That's the first two sheets, then sheet three, and for some strange production reasons, I've not quite remembered the reason why, um, this is the one that you get the loader on, so this will be packed to the top of your toolkit, um, so I'll get the pieces for that. So it's not really a logo, the name, the title of the, of the toolkit. Um, so here we have... Um, Two tall straight sides, flat sides, and three tall sloping sides. Uh, and then you get some cliff pieces. So this is for grass cliffs. So this has a wider base at the at the bottom, and then you've got um, river cliffs. So it's got a narrower, narrower but you can see some come up as high. So there's a pair of each of those. Um, and they'll fit together in the same way. So if you want to have a taller slope, you, know, you could have um, two of the low sides. And then when you've attached this on, you'd have you know, two high sides. I'll put this loose deal on here, but obviously you would have a pin over it. Pin holding in place normally. So you see how it would form a steeper slope. So we need um, a pair of those for that. The reason why we've got a third one is to help us with using um, these, the house ones. So when, when I assemble this, this sort of brace with the semi-hexes, you can use several of these to get the right um, depth of um, the right space for the kind of hexing you want to cut to go inside it. So there's three of those for that. But it'll go on like so. Okay? So there are separate videos for how to make use all these different tools individually. Um, so I'm not going to explain them all here. This is really just explaining what's what's on each sheet, what is each of these tools purpose. Okay, so that's what you get for the with the basic toolkit. Sheets one, two, and three, um, and that allows you to make flat hexes, um, sloping hexes, either shallow ones or, or steep ones, cliffs, and also the ability to cut any of those hexes you've made down to um, make semi-hexes for the edges of your board, um, either house or bunker shape hexes, semi hexes, or you can use them again to make, um, make them into quarters. So if you need to have quarter hexes for the corners of your board, you can do that with these pieces. That's it for the basic toolkit. So the next step up from the basic was, or is the, um, the river, well, it's called the intermediate toolkit. So you get everything in the base, basic toolkit, plus you get this extra river sheet. So here's the river pieces. So these are the pieces you need for making river hexes. Um, I've got these ones for making straight uh, river sections as a pair. Um, we've got two pieces, and I haven't got a spare of this one handy. I'll put this next piece along here, if you can see. This one here. That's for making um, an R2 hex, so that's where it's goes across straight out here so you can see. So the, the straight hex is going to 
the straight river what guy is going to go straight across like that. This one is going to go between two sides which are one apart. And this one um, can be used to make a sort of river going between adjacent hexes. It'll be like an R1 hex. Going between adjacent sides. Um, let's keep going back. And then these come in pairs too. So we've got here, this is going to make you put the on top of here, you see what I mean, hopefully. And it'll make you an R1234 hex. R4 hex. So it'll slope from here to here. And then um, this will be the R5 hex. So we'll lay something like that. Okay? And the extra piece here is if you want to make um, trenches or canals uh, or dungeons, bunkers, anything like that, it's just a means of being able to cut um, straight vertical sided pieces um, for those um, terrain types. Okay, so that's the um, sheet four, which you get in the intermediate. Toolkit for roofers. Okay, now that's it for sort of surface hexes, the bits that you'll see in your finished um, terrain. Sheet five is um, for the, your the underlying architecture, the the scaffolding or the structure that your terrain is going to be held together by. Um, so if you don't go for sheet five, if you don't go for the um, advanced or the professional toolkit, if you just go for basic or intermediate, you will need to have your own means for holding your hexes together on the battlefield. So for instance, um, the most likely thing people would do would be to build a wooden frame, like a picture frame, that the hexes will sit within. And there are obviously limitations for that, that you're stuck with a particular size of battlefield. Um, whereas with this method, you can vary the size of, of your terrain um, as much as you want. Uh, so sheet five gives you the shapes you need. Let's bring this out here. Um, so you get your snowflake pieces for making your um, making your base. So the snowflake pieces will form your jigsaw base. Um, and then for the underside of all your hexes, you have these cog shapes. So you, you make a cog shape on the bottom of every hex, and that will allow it to fit into the um, into the snowflake face. And then you have this pair for making your riser hexes. So each riser hex will consist of a cog at the bottom, a flat sort of hex in the middle, and a shape like this on the top. And that will mean that every other hex can fit inside that, and you can build a battlefield up. Again, I've got loads of videos showing how this works. That's what you get with sheet five, um, which you get in the um, advanced toolkit. Sheet six, which you only get in the professional toolkit. So remember, professional toolkit will mean you get all the other sheets for, uh, as well, sheets one to five, and sheet six. So sheet six is very similar to sheet five. They're almost the same. The only difference is the inner shape. So in sheet five, you have this cog shape on the inside, and in sheet six, you have this hex shape on the inside. I hope that's obvious. Um, so here we have sheet six. Out. Um, and the purpose for having this um, different shape is it's obviously much quicker to cut out a hex than it is to cut out the cog, so it saves you time and effort. Um, and the only reason why we need this cog shape is to keep everything assembled um, securely where it's at the edge of the board. So if you just use the hex shape at the edge of the board, your pieces will just slide out. Again, I've got videos which show this in detail. 
Um, so yeah, it's a time-saving aid for the hex on the inside of the board. So there's a snowflake pair. You've got the pair for the tops of your rising hexes. And you've got a pair of, um, sort of mini hexes for cutting the underside of your of all your hexes, really, all your full hexes. Um, and because there was space, um, I'll give you an extra pair on each of the sheets. So although you only need two of these, you've got four in case, I don't know, you lose one, you break one, and you want to double up effort. And the same, sorry, and the same with sheet five. So sheet five and six have got um, four of these inner ones, whereas you only need two as a free bonus. Okay, that's it. So that's what you get with the um, the different levels of toolkit. Uh, hopefully that's all clear. Uh, and as I say, I'll post some links in the description to other videos that are relevant. Uh, otherwise, have a look through the channel to find help on the tool or technique that you're interested in. Okay, thank you.